This is my AI avatar. And what's amazing is that I'm not only talking and using these hand gestures, but I can even stand up and walk around my studio while talking and using my hands. Now that I've got your attention, I just want to show you the possibilities of a talking avatar. Just look at this. Hello, you can be me and never show your face on screen. Or you can even be a cute puppy. The possibilities are only limited by your imagination. You can even do this with a 2D character. I personally really love this. Okay, so it's the real me again. The avatars are cool, but they're not replacing me just yet. And if you're thinking this is quite hard to do, like the example that I showed you, then you might be wrong because it's actually super simple. All of what I just shown you is all generated just using one platform. There's one trick where I go outside of this platform that is kind of like my little secret, but I will show you exactly how that works in this video. I will break down exactly how you can make your own walking and talking avatar by following seven steps that go in depth to how all of this works so make sure you follow everything because if you miss one step then your avatar won't be looking that good step number one is creating your character and for this we'll be using a tool that is called open art with this tool you can do everything from generating the character image to animating them with video to lip syncing all of that in this tool now i'll leave a link to open art in the description down below if you want to check it out and follow along with this tutorial so what you do after signing up to open art you go over to create image over here at the left hand side you want to switch the model to flux context you can choose between all of these different models i'm using flux context pro for this and i will explain you why now for the prompt you can copy my own prompt and you can customize it a little bit i will leave the prompt along with a document of all the prompts that i've used in the description down below, you will get that after you've signed up to my newsletter. We're going with a 3D Pixar style female character that is in their mid 20s. Now I've added a few extra details in there. And if we scroll down here, we have Omni Reference. And Omni Reference is extremely powerful for if you already have a character in mind or you already have seen an image that you want to use in this. I have two references right here. So I have this image and I have this image. So those are the ones that I'm gonna upload right here. Next up, you wanna scroll down and you wanna change the output size. So you wanna make this 16 by nine if you're doing YouTube videos or nine by 16 if you're doing Instagram or TikTok videos. I would recommend going 16 by nine if you wanna do a YouTube like me. Now here you can select the output of your images. I'm just going with two. And now we have an image like this. Now comes the second step, which is very important if you want to have high quality avatars, and that is upscaling it. To upscale it, what you simply do is you click on choose upscale mode, and here you click on 2x. Don't use the 2x plus face because you might lose some details in the face. So now you have the upscaled version. This will just cost you a few credits and this will be done pretty fast. Now we got the upscaled version. You can see the side-by-side -side comparison and the upscaled version also is in a higher dimension. Next up, we have step number three, which is animating or image to a video. And for this, you can click on use image and then go to image to video. And this will bring you over. Oh. What the hell is going on with my account? So now we go back to the video mode, which is over here on the left. And now we can use this image as a video generation. What we do is we drop in our video. We can choose that from history. And then you select your image, which is the upscaled one. Then you click on confirm. And here we can select the model. Now I've tried many different models in this case. You might think VO3 is the best, but this is actually the most expensive one. And I want you to save some credits here. So. I would recommend go with Kling 2.1. In my opinion, for movements like walking or waving, Kling has better results than VO3, but aesthetically, VO3 might look better. So Kling 2.1, then over here, you can select the settings. You can choose between five seconds to 10 seconds, and you can choose the quality mode. Don't go with the master. This is like 400 credits. It's way too expensive. Just go with pro. Pro is good enough to do the job that we're asking for this. Now we need to add in our prompt which is static shot of a happy girl waving, then talking, looking straight into the camera, demonstrating with both of her hands gently, blah, blah, blah. What I say here is very important. Static shot is what you wanna have in the first scene 
because you don't want the camera to move. You want the camera to be exactly like how my camera is. For the second prompt, we're actually gonna change it. So bear with me. So now you wanna add in a negative prompt. This is what most people won't do. So add in a negative prompt and use this prompt. Blur distortions, computer generated weird hands. That means that you basically don't want this stuff in your video. And now you hit create. Now this will take a few minutes. So in the meantime, I will switch over to this example that I already generated. So here we have her waving. We have her talking, we have her moving with her hands, and that's it. Now we can download this video right here, and then we can move to Final Frame Extractor. And this is very important because basically what we're doing, we're extending this by picking the last frame. You could do this by taking a screenshot as well, or you can just do it through this. So what I do is I upload my video in here, then I open it, then the video will be processed. And now we get the final four frames of our video. So what you do is you basically just click once on this image that you want, and then it downloads it. So then we go back into OpenR again. We go back to this part. Then we upload our image right here. We drop it in there and then we can start with our second prompt. You can make this as long as you want, but I will just show you a few prompts right here. So now we just change the prompt into something else, which is tracking shot of an animated woman getting up from her seat and walking to the right while talking, looking straight into the camera and demonstrating with both hands gently. You keep the negative prompt the same, then you click on create. So basically I've already done this. So I'm not going to waste my credits. So here I have this shot. She's now walking up from her desk and now she is like moving towards the camera. You repeat this exact same process. So you download this again, put it inside of this tool. So you choose your video, you take your last frame, which is this one, download it. And now we do the same process over again. So now we have this last frame. I have a new prompt, which is a tracking shot of an animated woman stepping through the right outside through a door into a sunny garden. She continues walking through the garden while demonstrating with both hands while gently looking at the camera. For this one, uh, because there's quite a lot going on, I'm actually switching to 10 seconds and you can play around with this. 10 seconds gives you more room for error, but it could do more movement in that scene because you have just a longer shot basically. So that's that's up to you but then you hit generate and then you get an example like this one so here we have her talking into the camera then she looks excited then she is walking outside all of a sudden she's in the garden and she walks away la 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 la, la. that's my day this is quite impressive already we're just lacking a few things which is one the voiceover which we will add in later but first we need to stitch together the entire thing now it's time for step number five the editing and for this i'm actually using a very simple method i'm just using the free plan on CapCut here what i did is i basically just downloaded these three videos that we have right here and i just put them into the timeline and i connect them to each other and now you have to make sure you have them in the right order so the video is starting like this this one in between and now if we play this then we have her talking then in this last shot she is standing up and now if i drag it over she transitions into going into the garden so then you select all of this, you go to export, and then you have your exported version if you hit this with these settings. Now it's time for step number six, creating the voice. You could basically do this step inside of OpenArt if you just wanna keep it to one subscription. So for this, you could use the auto speech and then you can choose a voice right here. You can pick any voice and describe your sound. But to step it up a notch, I'm gonna use Eleven Labs because there's just no other tool that's as good as Eleven Labs is. For this, you could sign up for free, but basically what you do is you go to voices. Then here, they've just released this new version, which is V3. Then you click on that one. And here you can choose any voice, any voice that matches your character. You could also go to the original library and here you have even more voices that you can choose from. But they've just released this new version, which is even better. That's why I'm using this one. So I'm gonna go with Jessica. Let me just give you an example. If you spend your whole life waiting for the storm, you'll never enjoy this. Good voice. Then you click on use voice. And now what you can do is here you can type in your text. So this is already like my text. Hello everyone in this tutorial, blah, blah, blah. What you can then do is you can click on Enhance Alpha. This is their new V3 version. What this will do is it will add in emotion to our voice. So you can see it adds in excited, energetic, surprised, chuckles. Now, if you like that, you can click on Generate Speech. And now you can choose between two voices. So this is voice number one. Hello everyone. In this tutorial, you'll be creating an animation just like this one. Just look at this. 
I can stand up and the camera will... F or this one. Hello everyone. In this tutorial, you'll be creating an animation just like this one. Just look at this. I can stand up and the camera will follow me as I walk around while talking and using these crazy hand gestures. Okay, let's go with number two. So then we hit download and now we go with step number seven, which is lip syncing. What you want to do now is you want to put it all together and you go from image to audio still inside of the video tab. Then you click on upload and here you upload the completed video that you have. So this is the full video with no audio. Then you're going to upload it and here you're going to upload your 11 Labs audio. So I have my 11 Labs audio right here. And now what it will do is it will basically match the two together. You don't have to change any of these settings. You can just keep it as is. And now you can click on create. And now you have everything combined into your complete walking avatar like this one. Hello everyone. In this tutorial, you'll be creating an animation just like this one. Just look at this. I can stand up and the camera will follow me as I walk around while talking and using these crazy hand gestures. But what's more fun is that I can even go outside and enjoy my morning walk in the garden. Bye! If you want to play around with this yourself, then I would actually recommend you to go with the advanced or the infinite plan, because that will give you plenty of credits to generate enough of these videos. Now, if you want to make this whole walking avatar a lot longer, then you're definitely going to need either the advanced or the infinite plan, because the essential just doesn't cover it. Another cool thing you can do with this is you can make AI influencers that can talk. But if you first want to learn how to make AI influencers, then check out the video that's on the screen right now. And I will walk you through exactly how you can make the best AI influencers that you can use for your own Instagram. And with this method that you just learned, you can also make them talk and walk.